Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and uh, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Uh, this is a picture. You know, as always, I give you all the links. It's in uh, Sol 672, nav cam right, B. This is what we're going to be looking at now. I can care. I care less about anything in the foreground here. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff here, but that's not what I'm interested in. I took the picture, put it in the photo editor, and inverted it. And of course, that's where things get really crazy. Because in this mountain, there's facilities, buildings, maybe ancient ruins. I mean, look at this stuff. I'm going to pan across it as steady as I can. And there's just way too much to even talk about. Not m Most of it doesn't need any, any type of explanation. But, you know, for you guys with small phones and tablets and stuff, I'm going to try to zoom in as tight as I can. Now look at this. There's one stack, another stack, another stack, another stack, another stack, and another stack. There's shadows. Look at this. You come up here's a building. You know, the top. There's more. There's blocks, buildings, windows, doorways. You name it, it's here. There's piping. This here, I, I take to be some type of entrance. Look at this. I mean, where in nature do you see this kind of stuff? Look at this. Looks like some type of uh, tank on legs. Then you see how they came here? And they put in this white ghosting. See how it just... You got to invert it and play with the contrast a little. And then this stuff pops. And if it wasn't there, you couldn't do this. I mean, look at this thing. This is some type of circular tank. You see, there's piping. And I know, a lot of people don't know how to take a picture, put it in a photo editor, invert it you know, play around with the contrast. and I know a lot of people don't know how to do those things. And that's cool. That's okay. Don't feel like, you know, you're dumb or you don't know how to do some. Everybody plays a part in this. If that's not your thing, what I need you to do is to take my video, the link, email NASA, and ask them for an explanation. And I know you're not going to get an answer. But what the guys and girls that we, you know, that we do this stuff, this kind of research, we want enough people to email NASA to the point where they have to answer. You know, there's just, you know, if millions of people emailed NASA, sooner or later, I mean, somebody's going to know somebody on a news show, a talk show, you know, somewhere along the line, somebody's going to get out and pop one of these videos out there, you know, in the mainstream. I mean, just imagine this. Tonight you turn on your local, you know, your big news. For me, it would be New York, right? Channel 4 News. And they showed this. Blah, blah, a researcher, you know, found this. And it's all over Channel 4, and then another, you know, network picks it up, another network, another network. NASA would have to answer. But for the people that are not in the know, you know, who controls these uh, these news networks? Number one, the FCC would crucify them. Behind the scenes, you would have no idea. That's why you don't see this stuff mainstream. Because most of our news is controlled by the government. You would never. Nobody. No, no news station has the balls to put this on there. None of them. 
You're going to tell me you turn on your big news tonight and you see this, and NASA has to explain this. Imagine that. People start asking for, hey, mountains are not supposed to look like this. Why are you, why are you guys inverting these pictures? See, what they do is they invert them, and then from a distance... You know, you, you can't tell. I mean, these pictures are taken from so far away and cropped. You know, unless you really know what you're doing, you know, it's hard to, you know, to find this stuff. And I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination. I've been doing this a long time, yeah, but I'm no expert. If I had an expert behind me with, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of, you know, equipment, the stuff that I would be able to put out there. People that do this kind of research, after a while you your eyes are almost trained. You know, the average person, when I show them a picture, their eyes go to certain things. And NASA knows that, you know. The guys and girls that do this stuff, we train our eyes to look for other stuff. Look at this thing. It's got a shadow underneath it. See? Look at these. See, it comes up. These are all buildings, facilities, factories. I believe a lot of it is processing plants. They're, they're processing something. I mean, look at this sharp angle. Look at this. I mean, just look at that. That cannot be explained in nature. That is not a camera anomaly, because it's not on the next slide. All of this stuff is really there. You see that? Look at that angle. I'm going to show you a couple other things. Look at this down here. See, and then they add all this white. See? Now this is black when you invert it. See how they mess with these pictures? See? And it covers all this up. See this? This is a building on the air. structures. Parts of these pictures are inverted, parts aren't. And that's how they get away with this nonsense. And I gotta thank uh, Chris, Chris from Mars Anomalies, for really, you know, opening my eyes to inverting these pictures. Because if it wasn't for Chris, I wouldn't be finding this stuff. So... I owe it all to Chris at Mars Anomalies. Guys like Santos, Christian, you know, Olympus Sky, Mars Unmasked, Will from What's Up in the Sky 37, Amazon KC. Even that guy, the channel Space Cadet, he's doing some cool stuff. He's showing you, uh, you know, technically what they're doing to these pictures and how to, you know, to restore them. I mean, just look at this stuff. All right, let's start here. Look at this thing. And you're going to come over here. Look at this. Look at this thing. Looks like a metallic ball with two... I don't even know what the hell to call them coming out of the top. Let's see how close I can get you into this stuff, guys. I know some of you guys really got small phones and stuff. I get spoiled, you know, because I watch it on, you know, I upload this stuff and watch it on my giant screen TV. If you don't have Google TV, run, trip, trip over yourself. Go to the store and get, you know, a Google TV box or a TV that's, you know, Google TV, you know, you, so you can watch YouTube on your TV. Plug your computer into it, whatever you got to do. 
when you watch YouTube on a giant screen TV, man, it opens up a whole new world. You don't even want to watch regular TV anymore. Especially if you, you know, subscribe to some pretty cool channels. Man, there's a lot of great stuff out there. I mean, look at this stuff. This is what they're hiding. And they cover it up with some of this white and, you know, some of this nonsense, but... I'm learning how just, you know, to get around some of it. So I could show you guys this... The truth. In no way, shape, or form do I ever add anything to any of these pictures. Like I always say, I don't have to add anything. I could take stuff away and it would still be cool. You know, my jaw drops every time I see this kind of stuff. How they keep this hidden for so long. There's got to be countries that know what's going on on Mars and other planets. There's got to be thousands of people that are in the know. You know, everybody talks about need to know. There's got to be thousands. I mean, look at this piece of machinery here. I mean, just look at this piece of machinery. You may think it's something else, but I, the only the way I could describe this thing is as a piece of machinery. I mean, look at that. I don't know how much closer I can get. That's why I use a handheld. I'm able to get you guys in here like this. With the screen capture, I just can't. I just can't get it. You know. Screen capture is great. You know, if everybody's watching on a, a big screen. But that's not always the case, you know. Like I always say, most... I, I look at a lot of stuff on my phone. And man, I get excited, man. I can't wait to get home and throw it up, you know. Pop it up on my TV. But not everybody, you know has giant screens there's backup on one of the ridges I mean look at this stuff it looks like metal tanks in the back here some more type of piping buildings you see the entrance and this looks like a stairway There's just no reason for this stuff to look like this. When I take uh, pictures, just that, you know, regular pictures off the internet of mountains and stuff and invert them, they look nothing like this. Absolutely nothing. This is going to be the last piece I'm going to show you here. I think, I think this is it. You know, I always end up finding something else, but you can see there's where they put this haze. There's stuff under there, but look at this piece in the back here. You can see the symmetry in it. It looks like a, a piece of piping that they uh, blurred out. Let me see how close I can get you. Yeah. All right, YouTubers. As always, I give you the links. You know, have fun with it. You guys know what to do. I hope you enjoyed this one. In about 14 minutes. All right, guys, Truth Seekers out. I'll see you guys later.